this video, I'm going to show you how to create this paper rip transition in just a few simple steps inside Premiere Pro. You can see I have already set up a full HD resolution sequence, and I have got two different video clips in the timeline. To create the paper rip transition, we need some assets. I already have some assets on my computer. You can download all these assets using the link provided in the video description. The next step is importing all the assets inside the project panel. After that, we need to select the first diagonal tear mat file and carefully drag it onto the timeline, positioning it precisely at the end of the first video clip. Since this mat file is pure white, it will require some manipulation to achieve the desired effect and blend seamlessly with the video. Next, I am going to move the second video clip to the second track on the timeline and then overlap this with the first one on the point. Now let's move over to the effects panel to apply a track matte key effect to the second video clip. After that, make sure the second video footage is selected and move over to the effect controls panel to customize the track matte key effect. Next, I am going to select the third track as the matte layer. Because diagonal tear file is in the video layer 3, after making this selection, you should be able to observe noticeable changes in the program monitor. After that, we have to cut the second video at the end of the first video clip, and then you can move the other part down again. Now, we need to select the second diagonal tear overlay file and carefully drag it onto the timeline. You should see the elegant paper tear edge blend seamlessly into our project, enhancing its visual appeal. If you would like to amplify the paper texture's shadow effect, feel free to duplicate the paper tear overlay as many times as needed to achieve the desired depth and richness in the presentation. With these couple of steps, we have created this simple paper rip transition. In the next step, we will be applying a frame hold effect to enhance our transition. To begin, let's focus on the first video clip and make a precise cut at the very start of the transition. After that, adjust the time indicator to the transition's beginning and zoom in on the timeline for better precision. Now move the time indicator exactly one frame forward and make another cut at this new position in the first video clip. This segment can now be removed, leaving us with a short clip. Next, right click on this remaining short clip and select the add frame hold from the context menu. Once that's done, right click on the clip again and navigate to frame hold options. In this new window, I will choose the end point from the hold menu to specify where the frame hold will begin. After selecting the desired end point, click OK to apply the changes. Finally, we will extend this freeze frame to reach the end position of the transition, ensuring a smooth and visually appealing transition effect. In the same way, we need to add frame hold effect for the second video clip. To begin, adjust the time indicator to the transition's end position and zoom in on the timeline for better precision. Now move the time indicator exactly one frame backward and make another cut at this new position in the second video clip. This segment can now be removed, leaving us with a short clip. Next, right click on this remaining short clip and select the add frame hold from the context menu. Once that's done, right click on the clip again and navigate to frame hold options. In this new window, I will choose the out point from the hold menu to specify where the frame hold will begin. Finally, we will extend this freeze frame to reach the beginning of the transition, ensuring a smooth and visually appealing transition effect. Alright, now you can see the frame hold effect on the program monitor. In the next step, we need to carefully drag and drop the paper texture overlay onto the timeline, positioning it precisely where we want it to appear in our project. Once it's placed, we will adjust the blending mode by selecting Linear Burn from the drop-down menu, which will allow the underlying layers to interact with the texture in a more integrated way. Additionally, we can fine-tune the visual impact by adjusting the opacity value for the paper texture overlay. Again, we need to carefully drag and drop the lens flare overlay onto the timeline, positioning it precisely where we want it to appear here in our project. Once it's placed, we will adjust the blending mode by selecting screen mode from the drop-down menu, which will allow the underlying layers to interact with the texture in a more integrated way. Additionally, we can fine-tune the visual impact by adjusting the opacity value for the lens flare overlay. Lastly, we need to incorporate the paper rip sound effects to enhance the visual transition. This audio element will help create a more dynamic and attention-grabbing experience for the audience. In this way, you can create a really simple and nice paper rip transition in Premiere Pro. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like the video and leave a comment.